vector analysis. What is a vector? What do you think of when I say a vector? I am sure you must be thinking of a figure something like this. And what is this? It is a line segment. Right? If I say it is a line length 2 meters. So it is a line segment of length 2 meters that has some direction associated with it. This arrow indicates that this quantity is pointing to a particular direction. So it is a quantity which has two properties. One is the magnitude and the other is a direction. So a vector is a quantity which has got both magnitude and direction. And when it says scalar, what is a scalar? Scalar is just a number like 3, 4, 5. And if I give you one more number, 3, and if I ask you, are, are they same? Or are they equal? Yes, we know that they are equal in all aspects. Because this is the quantity which has got only magnitude. There is no direction associated with this quantity. However, if I give you one more quantity, one more vector quantity of length 2 meters. Can you say if both of them are equal? No, they are not equal. They are not same in all aspects. They are same only in magnitude. They are equal only in magnitude. So these two are not equal. So a vector has direction in addition to the magnitude. And director plays a significant role in this quantity. So we need to analyze this direction. We need to analyze the quantity which has got the direction. So we start our course with vector analysis instead of scalar analysis. So remember that in this course whenever I talk about a vector not just in this, to in this uh, topic, even in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the future topics of field theory course, when you want to understand the application of this quantity, so just consider it as a director line segment. And then I will tell you how to use it and understand the properties of that particular field. And when I say scalar, or a scalar field, it's just a number. So it's 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 it's, it's a very it's a simple number. So don't worry too much about uh, this quantity. Also, I would like to uh, emphasize the kind of interpretations that we usually use in this course. We generally uh, use two kinds of interpretation. One is mathematical interpretation. The other is physical interpretation. Mathematical interpretation takes the help of mathematical models. Just like we use equations and formulae to understand the concept. While physical interpretation deals with conducting an experiment and obtaining results. Then you understand the concept based on the, based on the results. So always experiment is conducted first and then the mathematical model follows the experimental results. Since we can't do experiments in such kind of uh, classes, so we would always take the help of the mathematical interpretations or the mathematical models. So wherever required, I would, I would tell you how experiments are conducted. So when we start this vector analysis topic as I told you we are, we are going to discuss the properties of uh, vectors this vector analysis topic is broadly classified into two parts 
one is vector algebra and then vector calculus vector algebra deals with the addition subtraction of vectors and the scalar multiplication of sum of vectors while vector calculus deals with dot product cross product gradient divergence curl scalar projection and vector projection concepts we will start with vector algebra and then we will we will get into vector calculus so the emphasis of vector calculus is higher when compared to vector algebra in this course so let's start vector algebra before we see how to uh, uh, how to play with these vectors let's take the help of the mathematical model of a vector a bar a bar is represented as ax x cap plus ay y cap plus az z cap in cartesian coordinate system cap play x cap play y cap play z these are the scalar components of a bar or the magnitudes of a bar x cap y cap z cap represent unit vectors along x y and z axis respectively so ax ay az they get a value only if they are associated with x cap y cap z cap otherwise they are just numbers as i told you scalars are just numbers now let's construct this vector a bar so in a Cartesian coordinate system, we know there are three axes, x, y, and z, mutual perpendicular axis. x cap is unit vector along x axis, y cap is unit vector along y axis, and z cap is unit vector along z axis. The initial point is the origin, ax x cap means this vector is it starts from the origin it has it is as told you vector is a simple directed line segment this line segment has a length ax units along x axis so ax x cap is this vector plus ay y cap ay units along y axis plus az z cap it is az units along z axis so if you join the initial point to the final point that is a vector a bar so a bar is a composite vector it is a sum of three vectors AX cap is one vector, AYY cap is one vector, AZZ cap is one vector. So it's a composite vector. And a, AX, AY, AZ, as I told you, they are just numbers. And X cap, Y cap, Z cap are the unit vectors along X, Y, and Z. It is not necessary to use this representation X cap, Y cap, Z cap every time. We could also use representation like ax ay az or ux ui uz or i j k or sometimes i cap j cap k cap okay these are some of the popular notations that you will see in the literature so don't panic when he gives when, or when you when you see uh, a different notation for the unit vectors in the examination sometimes the, the question paper setter uh, gives a different uh, notation for these unit vectors to just make a student think in a different direction so you should not get confused if you see uh, a different notation of the unit vectors it's okay so it can be ex ey ez also so don't worry about the notation they're all just unit vectors okay so we understood the representation of the unit vectors in cartesian coordinate system 
later when we talk when we uh, talk about the coordinate system then i will tell you how to represent unit vectors in other coordinate systems like cylindrical and spherical coordinate systems